All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 10 to the power of x is equal to 20. So to solve this, I'm going to start off by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 10 to the power of x is equal to log of 20. From here, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So log of 10 to the power of x, I can move x to the front, and I get x times log 10 is equal to log 20. From here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 10. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 20 over log 10. Now, we want to find the exact decimal value. So, to start off, log 10, well, if I have, if I'm saying the log of a number, this is the same thing as the log of base 10 of a number. And if I have something in the form log of base a of a, this is just equal to 1, meaning log of 10 is equal to 1. So, I get x is equal to log 20 over 1, which is just log 20. Now, let's find the exact value of this. Log 20 is equal to log of 5 times 4. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So x is going to equal log 5 plus log 4. From here, log of 5, if I plug that into a calculator, log of 5 is equal to 0 0.699. And now I'm going to do the same for log 4. I'm going to plug this into a calculator. So log of 4 is equal to 0 0.602. So I have 0 0.699 plus 0 0.602, which is equal to 1.204. So this is my solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends or family. Thank you. Bye. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. So to solve this, I'm going to start off by taking the power of 5 on both sides. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5. I can switch the places of 5 and x to the power of 5. So I get x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. From here, I can rewrite 100 as 10 squared to the power of 5. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5 turns into 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a, is equal to b to the power of b. This is equal to this turns to a equals b. So I get x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. And now if I take the fifth root on both sides, I get x is equal to the fifth root of 10. So this is my solution to this equation. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Bye. 
All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be solving the equation nine to the power of x is equal to 27. So to solve this, I'm gonna start off by rewriting this as three squared to the power of x is equal to three to the power of three. And the reason I'm doing this is so both of these values can have the same base, which makes it much easier to solve. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 2x. So I get 3 to the power of 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And this means that 2x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 3 over 2.